Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FTB's guys, episode 5. How are you doing today guys? I'm doing fantastic amazing. And guys, do you use any of those AI tunes out there? Aren't they fantastic? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh my god, what is this thing? Just kidding. I know what it is, but you will not know until the next episode. Right guys, in this episode, we are doing some storage upgrades and base upgrades. Let's get on to it. Perfectly fine. Nice. Now what do we get? Nothing. All right. Let's see. Oops. I place this here where I cannot access it. How do I access it? Well, we need uh, refined storage or something like that. Oh, guys. <laughs> Light one. Oh my God. Wait, what? Oh my God. Well, <laughs> is that cheating? I don't know, but isn't that freaking fantastic guys that is absolutely amazing all right guys well the next thing i want to sort out is my storage so i decided to go with applied energy stick 2 now the first thing i would like to do is get a charger maybe even two of them Let's see so this goes like a so nice and then i absolutely forgot about the crafting upgrade we have i need some glass paints i believe it goes like a so and that way we get a trader. Oh my god, you can't even see it. All right, which looks like a so. And then if we find our villager, guys, I also found this amazing thing, everlasting beef. You could have seen it in Seapolis too. And that means that we will have infinite food, which is absolutely fun, freaking tastic. Put this here. Perfect. Right. And what you do with the villager? You just right click and place them inside here. And then he needs a workstation. So right click and boom, you got a villager which trades emeralds for certain squirts. Let's get a few. Let's see what he opens up. We could automate this. Very nice. And then we get, uh, oh, and quartz crystal glass. Nice. And then we also get Fluix Crystals, which is absolutely fun freaking tastic. We can build an auto trader, but we will get into that later. Oh my god, guys. Light. Light is such an amazing thing to have, guys. I made some sheet metal plating, which is sheet metal, which is the iron ingots. And I'm basically expanding the base for the AE thing in my book. Let's call it the control room yeah that's nice all right guys progress report first thing i'm not sure what happened with these guys and did not reset hello anyways slide update to the base i've been adding some sheet metal plating almost everywhere hello rain and yeah guys well it's looking okay. It doesn't look like anything yet, but maybe by the shape of it, you guys could figure out what I'm going with. Anyways, and I've got some Adastra iron sliding doors right here, which are looking fantastic. I'm guessing this room, this small room, will be for machinery. And then let's build the light energistic control room right here. All right, guys. So, Certus Quartz Dust. We get that from Sifting Dust. Now, Certus Quartz Crystal. To get it, I think the best way is to get an enrichment chamber from Mechanism. But you can also do it the way I did it if you get a villager. Then, the charge Certus Quartz. You basically place a Certus Quartz Crystal into a charger. And the Fluix Crystal. You can actually do it this way, so you'll need a charged Certus Quartz, Redstone, Never Quartz, and just put it into water to get some Fluix Crystals. But uh, I did it again via this trader, which is amazing. Now the next thing I need is to build an ME controller. And for that I will need Skystone blocks, which you get by smelting Skystone twice I believe. So this is smelt into Skystone, but to get a Skystone block you need to smelt it again. We can do it the create way. Let's do two stacks Actually, even two stacks is too much all right the first time you get sky stone and then if you smelt it again you will get sky stone blocks and guys pan lava setup is the best thing guys oh and also if you make one blue xme glass cable which is quartz fiber come on game you can do it very nice and then blue x crystal and you go like a so um this should do it for now very nice 
and let's pick up the rewards which is sky stone <laughs> Nice. Now you need to smelt it again. Get the skystone blocks. Now we should be able to make the AME controller. No, we're not. We can make the energy acceptor. Nice. This is necessary because you will need it to get energy into the AME controller. Also, guys, my backpack is getting kind of stacked. So I was thinking. Yeah, this guy's stack upgrades. Diamond level, maybe not. But let's see, stack upgrade one. We can definitely do that. We'll go like so. Very nice. Amazing. Fantastic. Now, if I pick up the glass. 256. I expected more, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's better. It's much better like that. Nice. Can we do diamonds? Actually, we can do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh no. Nice. Very, very nice. Alright. That's amazing, guys. That's amazing. I will go to the smithing table. We've got a logic press from the villager, but if you want to make it, it's just paper and gold. And we go like a soul. Action. And we got our four inscriber presses. Now we need an inscriber. I'm going to make seven of them so four for this and three for their combination we will need an energy acceptor and then we will go like so blue x cables and like so right logic press that's gold silicon silicon press that's silicon engineering press it's diamond ah yeah that's uh, not going to work like that hold on and of course, I forgot the Certus Quartz, which is the Inscriber Calculation Press. Now, I'm going to place some hoppers. I believe you need to go like a so. In the hopper, we go gold, silicon, diamond, Certus Quartz. And this will start the process. And I've placed some item pipes on the front or out. This is amazing. Next, we need one of those and one of those. Bada bim, bada boom. And a redstone. Noise. And we get an engineering processor. And that will allow us to make an ME controller. Very nice. I switch the energy acceptor. One down. And then, boom. Noise. ME controller. I won't uh, make more, but eventually I might make a bigger one. I'll need some Fluix dust. Make 10. There's multiple ways of doing it. Inscriber. Crushing wheels. Smiling. Crusher. The crusher spirit from Occultism. Pulverizer. But since we have the inscribers here, let's just... Oh, no. It's one by one again. I don't like that. All right, guys, because the base is getting bigger, bigger, big, slightly big. I made some uh, travel anchors and a travel staff. The travel staff, very easy to make. Anchors, very easy to make. Here, I named it bridge. Like, well, it's uh, the bridge is the command room of a ship, usually. And then let's place one here. This is going to be right click it. And we're going to call it CMP. Look, very nice. Now we can go like a soul. What? Yeah, like a soul. Which is fun freaking tastic. We'll need some formation cores, some annihilation cores. And then the first thing I want to make is an ME chest. Illuminated panels which need iron, redstone, lost and dust, towards glass. We got all that. This needs to be crafted into an ME terminal, which needs an annihilation core, a formation core, the illuminated panel, and the logic processor. And I believe we can craft the ME chest, which needs blue XME glass cables times two, the terminal glass, iron times two, and copper. Perfection. Now if we just place this here. Oh no! <laughs> right, right, right. We should be able to do that. ME item cell housing. Perfect. And 1k ME storage. Perfect. Logic processor. 4 certus quartz. 4 redstone. And combine these two. And you get a 1k ME item storage cell. And let's place that here. I mean, we could have made the ME drive. But yeah. Anyways, that's, that was kind of faster. It's kind of temporary, guys. Also, it does have a terminal. I see. Of course it does, because we used one. Then I will need an engineering processor, and that is to make the ME pattern encoding terminal. ME terminal, calculation processor. Why is it not going? I'm sorry. And, 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 and uh, ME terminal. ME crafting terminal, and then an engineering processor, and we get the ME pattern encoding terminal. 
Very nice. Now we place this. Uh, let's place it here. And now we need patterns. Patterns, patterns, patterns. We should be able to make a lot. I want a stack, like I saw. Place them here. And now, no, 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 no. We need to click on the thing we need and code pattern. Perfection, perfection. Let's do all of these. Now that we have the patterns, we need to place them somewhere. That's the ME pattern provider. I believe we can make one. Yes, we can. And then we will also need a molecular assembler. Very nice. And I'm making three because the more of those you have crafting recipes, it can do at once. So basically, I'll show you guys go like a so if a recipe requires different items to be crafted and this ME pattern provider is provided with the patterns you need, each molecular assembler can craft a recipe. Well, let's let's test it out, guys. I just chased another loot bee and we got an element source. No idea what that is, but uh, yeah, maybe we will get into it. But not now. Yeah, we need this one. Click to prevent. No. This should make it so that any wood can be used in the crafting recipe. Perfection. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Crafting. Not crafting. I would like to go crafting. Not right now. We need a crafting unit. Oh, that's actually okay. I think we got it. Yeah, we got one of those. Then we need two of those. Perfection. And I think we can actually make it. Perfection. Now let's place it here. And now we should be able to make the Emmy. Oh no! What am I doing, guys? This, this, I want this. Perfection. And then let's pick up this guy. And convert that like a zone. Now. Finally. Perfect. Now we can place this here. This guy will use only these two molecular assemblies, but that's okay. I want a recipe for this. I want to recipe for the 4K perfection. 1K we have, then Hemi terminal and bright illuminated panel recipe. Now let's see, what do we need to craft a security terminal? Oh my God. All right, seven logic processors. Amazing, I think we can make it. Yes, amazing, look at it go. Oh, I think it's done. All right, and let's place that. Here, I guess. Let's pick up our thingy, my bob. Nice. And then we go to the Emmy security terminal. Shift right click. And yeah, we have now got access to our storage. Next thing I want to do, guys, is make 10 of each. Mob masher upgrade, sharpness. Mob masher upgrade, looting. Let's give the recipe to our Emmy pattern encoding terminal, like a so. Uh, we don't need to craft anything else for that. No, this we will need that and an iron sword. Stick those here. And now we should be able to make those perfection and then 10 of those. Oh my God, things are going fast. Very nice. This is done as well. Right. 10 looting upgrade, 10 sharpness. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to put anything else for the time being. Now that this is done, I guess it's time to upgrade the storage of this farm. And I will need a ton of drawers. That's why we built this. Oh, wait, what? Oh my God, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, why are you like, uh, is this a riot, guys? It's a better run, guys. They will summon the, the next level spirits and yeah, maybe what happened here, guys? <laughs> maybe I should place some saplings and help them. Jimmy, yes, these guys are, are willing to work. It's some more. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so funny. Jimmy started the riot, guys. Ew. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't like bitch wood to be honest anyways we'll fix it later oh my god i've placed an elevator here and i changed it and i it's not gucci anyways let's place some drawers oh my god that doesn't look nice maybe it's okay let's go like so okay so we need many 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 more oh i need to link them all right linked very nice um that's kind of bad we place it here 
So it's like the first thing it meets. Yeah, that should do it. All right. Right, and I will move all these. Even though that's kind of stupid to go all this way. Maybe I should build the ME system in this room. Yeah, guys, I think there is no point of it being so far away. I will move it to this room. Yeah, I think that works much, much better. All right, guys. Well, this is the room, the updated room, the Titan Logistics 2 room. It's not done, but uh, this is what I've done so far. And also, as you can see, we've got a jetpack, but this is for the next episode. And I've connected the network to our storage controller and armory cabinet. I did try something else. I did try the storage scanner, but it couldn't connect the applied energistics. So yeah, that didn't work. But anyways, guys, I did ended up removing the flight, the flight ability because it is actually part of the fourth tire of the end game quests and you get it as a reward. And eventually I believe it will be removed and you will not be able to get it. So we're not going to use it. Uh, I can fly though, but that's for the next episode. I did record too much. So that's it for today, guys. <laughs> hopefully i can get one episode for you tomorrow as well anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed the episode and i really hope to see you in the next one if you did enjoy the episode please leave a like and please subscribe guys these all these all things help help me get by anyways guys i hope to see you in the next one bye